What's going on YouTube, Giasna right here. So in today's video, we're going to talk about the current situation of the iOS 12.1.3, 12.1.4, 12.2, all the way up to iOS 12.3.1 jailbreak. And also we're going to discuss about our new forum. Yes, we finally have a place to discuss, to request help, to get help and to give help to the jailbreak community or at least to the jailbreak community that follows my videos. So we're going to talk about the current situation. As I said, this is a recap video. This is a current status video. Nothing is new but this video helps you to understand what is currently going on if you're new here or if you haven't been updated for a while. So currently we have Ned Williamson who has achieved TFP0 or kernel task port on iOS 12.2. This is an important step because with TFP0 we can finally make a jailbreak. Now he did not release it for the moment but this bug that he exploited in here has already been patched by Apple back in May so there is no point into not releasing it after he finishes cleaning it up and so on. And he says in here quote I managed to get kernel task port using only CVE 2019-8605 for iOS 12.2 tested on iPhone 6s Plus. Still needs quite a bit of work for stability. Now, as you probably see, this is not exactly perfect for the moment, it still needs some work, but the bug he mentions, CVE 2019-8605, has been patched long ago, so there is no point in keeping it private as a zero day, because it's no longer a zero day. Now, I've been mentioning TFP0 lately quite a lot, and I know that I made a video explaining what TFP0 is, but not a lot of people watched it, and if you want to learn more about TFP0 and the whole jailbreak idea, how jailbreaks work, what they have inside, how you can build one yourself, then I have a post made in here on my blog called gsnow.github.io, which contains everything related to jailbreaking, how it evolved, uh, what are the components, what are the uh, parts that make the um, different jailbreaks be specific jailbreaks, for example, there are specific parts of Pangu, there are specific parts of Yaldo, and most of the jailbreaks do share things in common, for example, various binaries and various exploits and so on, but many of them have particular parts that you will not be able to find in any other jailbreak, and I discuss them in here, especially the Pangu ones, but I also discuss TFP0 and what it does, and what is the process behind jailbreaking with all these diagrams in here, so that you can understand better how the jailbreak works. Now, for the moment, we're doing pretty fine with a lot of TFP0 exploits being achieved, Ned Williamson's being one of them, but this one is only for iOS 12.2 and lower. However, for iOS 12.3.1 there has already been jailbreak attempts privately with Cydia and so on. For iOS 12.4 beta there has already been a jailbreak privately by Ben Sparks who did release jailbreaks in the past. So yeah, that's pretty much what is going on for the moment, we're playing the waiting game to see who releases the first TFP0 exploit. Once that happens, I will also update my own jailbreak, Osiris jailbreak, and I will try to make it compatible with as much devices as possible. But there are also going to be updates to Uncover very likely, to Chimera probably, and so on. Now, speaking about the community, the forum, this is our forum called Jailbreak Central. I just created it a few days ago and it's finally available so that you can register and we can talk and discuss various jailbreak topics. There are in here the jailbreak news, jailbreak help, for example, if you have problems with your jailbreak or if your device caused by the jailbreak. Because when you're actually going into the jailbreak community, you're basically going into an unknown territory and hoping for the best. And while most of the times things will go okay, there are tweaks that can cause problems and there are things that can go wrong with your device if you jailbreak it. And this is a place where you can ask me personally anything you want about jailbreaking and I will try to help you with your iOS issues. There is also the jailbreak tutorials where I'm going to list various written and video tutorials so that our community have it in one place. Then I have the change logs and bugs. This is going to be an important section because we can basically put in here the latest uh, jailbreaks that have been released, for example Uncover, and I can put in here the test results. For example, if I tested the latest build of Uncover and everything is fine, I can put it in there, but if there are bugs Bugs, we can list it in there and prevent people from updating to a buggy jailbreak. And there are of course other things, for example iOS downgrade corner. Downgrading is an important thing in the jailbreak community so having all the tools in here is basically a good thing in my opinion. We have the discussions, we have the tools that are available. So I would definitely recommend you to go ahead and have a look on the uh, forum if you want you can basically make an account, it's completely free and you can stay in touch in there as well and also in the comment section of the videos. But I'm going to publish all 
all the videos in here as well in the jailbreak news section and we can discuss per video and per topic and so on so if you want to check it out the uh, link is jailbreak.fc365.info is going to be in description down below but yeah going back to the current status of the ios jailbreaking for ios 12.1.3 all the way up to ios 12.3.1 things are currently fine in the jailbreak community there are a lot of exploits that have been demonstrated there are jailbreaks with cydia that have been demonstrated you know full jailbreaks which is actually quite good because it means that the um, modifications Apple did in this iOS versions are not that bad to basically make jailbreaking impossible or to make jailbreaking a lot harder. If people could get Cydia running, then it means that it's still okay. We still can do what we used to do in iOS 11 and iOS 12, maybe with some modifications, but TFP0 is the important step. Once we have TFP0, we can start building a jailbreak. I can start updating my own jailbreak and probably other developers too will start updating their their jailbreaks, for example, Pound owned with Uncover and Sam Bingner with Uncover, and then of course Coolstar and his team with the uh, Chimera slash Electra. So yeah, that's currently what is going on. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. I am Geo Snow. Till the next time, peace out.